Hello, this is Bea for a short presentation on what's new on our latest release of GV Stratus version 4.0.1. This is our maintenance release number one for version 4 of Stratus and uh, there's a number of new features that I wanted to introduce to you. I wanted to start with the control panel. A couple of new things here. In terms of the rules engine, we have introduced the ability to create new assets or just update asset metadata on import rules. So let me explain how this works. This is useful when you just want to create an asset on the database which is metadata only because you're waiting for the media to come later. Or for example, let's say that you have already imported video with this corresponding metadata but then there has been an update. For example, you've added closed captioning or there's been an update from the traffic system with extra metadata. So you now have the option over here on import rules to either create a new asset every time that you import that new file or preserve the video essence and update just the asset metadata. The other new feature that we introduced recently with workflow rules is on the export rule. So let me get myself to an export rule over here very quick and uh, modify that. So you can see we're now able to apply rules on growing files or only on completed files. So let's say you want to export a file that is being conformed on, uh, from, from your edius over to Stratus or something that is still being ingested onto the system. So you can choose to apply an export rule to send it to a third-party device, shared folder, shared destination, either upon the growing file, so whilst the file is still being ingested conform, or wait for the file to be completed and then the rule will take place. So those are the couple of things that are new in terms of workflow rules. Let me get myself over to the Stratus user interface. We have a couple of really neat, nice new features over here. The first one applies to multicam recordings, gang recordings, or videos that have been recorded through a dyno. And in this case, I have a basketball match and it has been recorded through dyno and I'm able to see over here on the top corner the ability to change which angle is going to apply to this particular clip. So now I have angle B. And if I click over here again, I'll be able to see angle A. So for multicam recordings like this one where I have multiple cameras pointing at the same event recording, I'm able to come to Stratus and make that modification. Great little feature. The other thing that has also changed and is, is something new is within the uh, user preferences, we have added the ability to display all transcode jobs. This applies to the job monitor down here, which by default, when this option is disabled, only shows me high-res transcoding and proxy encoding jobs. However, if I was to select this option, and I can only do this if I'm a, I'm a media manager, so this option is only available to media manager roles, then I'll be able to see most of the other transcode jobs that happen in the background. For example, the associated thumbnail creation, the closed cut caption creation, the metadata jobs, they're all displayed in here. It's very useful for troubleshooting and job tracking if you need it. Finally, we have introduced a couple of new features to our integration with Avid. The first one is the ability to, let me just locate a particular clip over here, this clip from uh, Stratus uh, resides on a K2 and over here I have created a number of markers and some of these markers have got metadata um, added to those. Uh, markers, as you know, are associated with in endpoints or um, in the case of a keyword like down here with an in and an out point. So I have transferred this clip uh, over to the Avid environment and now I can drag that over to a bin in my media composer. So I'm seeing the video over here but also all of the markers that go associated that were created in the Stratus world. So if you take a look at the markers list, you'll be able to see all of those markers in red and in yellow, the keywords and any comments that have been added to those particular markers. So that's a new feature that has been added now with uh, our maintenance release number one. The other big feature in the integration with uh, Avid is the ability to send to 
an IC server. So if uh, you take a look here in the locations configuration on uh, the control panel, in the, the locations configuration, I have the ability to send to a specific editor, a media composer, with his own standalone storage, as we could do already before maintenance release number one. Or now we have the ability to configure an IC path. So we're able to send to one or multiple ISIS workspaces. So once you set up your destination over here in the control panel, within the Stratus client, you can right click and you'll be able to see that particular destination, Avid ISIS in just workspace or production workspace or however you have created your locations within the control panel. Watch out for a full video where we plan to demonstrate all of the features and the integration between Stratus and Avid. And that summarizes all of the new features that we have introduced with Stratus Maintenance Release 1 for version 4. To get more information or upgrade, contact your Grass Valley representative.